Please welcome Mason Live, Kevin, and the Sitcom Trial. with our next comedy. It's uh, an office romance comedy. It's uh, written by Roop Wainwright, James Harris and Mark Blakewill. And it's entitled The Client. <laughs> ah, Simon. <laughs> how's, that, uh, how's that new website for Stella coming along? Ah, look, yeah, I need to talk to you Good. about that. Good. Great, that's what I like to hear. And uh, how's Carol getting along with whatever it is? Carol does. Carol's doing great, Tom. Look, Fine the thing young is, worker, that yeah, Carol. yeah. If I could just her nipples just seem to follow you around the room. <laughs> yeah. Tom, Tom, I'm leaving. What leaving? Why? You know why? But this is the place to be, Simon. We're pushing back the boundaries. Yeah. We're parting the flaps of change. <laughs> Look, Tom, I can't work with that woman. But Carol's lovely. Sometimes I imagine her coming to me for a bit of fatherly advice. So I make her a nice cup of milky tea and she's so grateful to me that she takes her skirt off. Tom, Tom, Tom! No. I'm talking about Stella. Stella? Oh, now come on, the client is always right, Simon. Even those who sweat a lot. Uh, <coughs> oh, Stella! Tom, I'll get straight to the point. The project funds are bleeding away faster than a haemophiliac in a bramble bush. I want to know who's responsible. <laughs> Or I may be forced to take my project elsewhere. Now, hang on. Are you blaming my employees for all the problems? That's right. Right. Not me, then. <laughs> Look, Tom, if the local garage would charge you a fiver to wash your car, but your neighbour would do it for two quid, well, you'd get your neighbour to do it, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'll get my team to do it twice as fast as your neighbour. <laughs> but I can get a team of starving Russians to develop the entire website at a fraction of your cost. All right. How about I get Carol to wash your car once a week for free? Uh, Tom, do you know what an analogy is? Yes, it's the science of pineapples. <laughs> right. The bottom line is that I need you to utilise half the employees for half the cost to carry out the same amount of work and still hit all the original deadlines with milestones intact. Clever stuff. <laughs> Good plan. Mm -hmm. Could you write it down? Why? I believe it's called a stalling tactic. I can't believe it. I know. It's not even as if there's anything special about your nipples. No. <laughs> I can't believe the pay rise Tom has offered you. Oh, yeah, that. Well, you know. He did say if you pull this demo off, he'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, jeez, I can't wait. Mm. Oh, Stella, hi. Tea, coffee? Arsenic. Black. Strong. Ah, morning, people. <laughs> right, uh, let's get on with this uh, demo, shall we? OK, I'll just get this thing up and running. Here we go, the uh, main screen. Oh, no, 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 no. I told Simon two months ago we're not doing it like that anymore. No, you didn't. Are you calling me a liar, Mr Courtney? Oh, look, there's obviously been a misunderstanding here. Simon, will you explain to me why you let us all down? What? Oh, there's, there's no misunderstanding, Tom. He is lying. What the f... If you'd uh, <clears throat> just like to tell us what you want, Stella, we'll uh, rewrite the system. Simon knows what I want. We're not talking about bizarre sexual favours now. Eh? Get you, Mr. Ooh, ooh, smear me with helmets. I thought it would take my mind off your stomach. Um, uh, what's hell? You said I was the best lay since your sister. God, a single one night stand! <laughs> a single one night stand and you go all fatal attraction on me! Well, that's cleared the air a bit. <laughs> so, on with the demo. Simon, how much did you earn last year? A lot less than I would have done if you hadn't sacked me. Hmm, perhaps that's why your foreplay resembled scrambling around in your pockets for loose chains. Simon! I had to be pissed out of my skull to sleep with you. Well, you still came as quick as a schoolboy. Yeah, well, you should know. You're twice my age and your body shows it. Small dick. Saggy tits! Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> I've got flat feet. Look, just shut up, a lot of you. I mean, this isn't the office crash. Absolutely, Carol. Or I wouldn't be allowed in here anymore. <laughs> so, do you like me, Simon? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's really sweet. That's really sweet. Can I get you another drink? Great. Oh, you little colonial box lady. Jeez, Tom, you've been at the Slammers too. You know, I look at you when you come in all bouncy in the mornings. Thanks, Tom. And I wish I was your nighty. Oh, shit. I'm, um, I'm here looking for Tom to discuss work things. 
Well, you weren't around, so he's brown nosing himself. Oh, I remember when you used to do that to me, Simon. Oh, I must have been more experimental in those days. I was talking about work. Why did you suddenly turn on me that day? Oh, I just slept with you and, oh yeah, you just sacked me. Oh, you didn't have to sulk your entire way out of the building. I find you very attractive when I'm pissed. You'll, you'll regret this in the morning. Oh, go on. Let me into your lovely warm bed. And give me one good reason why I should. My flat's freezing. <laughs> All right, Simon, you win. <sighs> but for God's sake, do not wake me up again at six in the morning saying, Stella, can I have an aspirin, a pint of water and a hand job? <laughs> Oh, Stella, oh, can I have an aspirin, a pint of water, any chance of a... Oh! I warned you! Oh, have we done it yet? Oh, oh, sex was stunning. You fell on me like a filing cabinet with a key sticking out. <laughs> Simon? Si Simon? Oh, for Christ's sake, Simon! How can you wake me up and then go back to sleep yourself? Oh, what? What? Oh, 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 Stella. Oh, Stella. Oh, yeah. Can, can I have an aspirin? Oh. A, a pint of water? Ouch! And a, oh, OK. All right, all right. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, where are my clothes? Where are my clothes? Someone's stolen my clothes. They're outside my front door. Honest. Oh, OK. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh. All right, all right. It's six o'clock in the morning. Jeez, who the hell... Oh my God. Can I come in? It's pissing it down out here. So I can see. Nice sock. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite attached to it at the moment. <laughs> is, uh, is this an English seduction technique, Simon? Because uh, if it is, uh, I'd advise you to wait for warmer weather. <laughs> no. No, I, I got chucked out by, by, by Tom. Tom chucked you out? What on earth are you doing wearing nothing but a sock? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, um, he chucked me out for, for, for beating him at strip poker. <laughs> Why were you playing strip poker with Tom? He doesn't have a PlayStation. <laughs> Right. So, so if, if I could just grab some kit before work, that'd be great. Oh, Simon, this wasn't how it was supposed to happen, but, jeez, uh, you could always stay here, you know, but just remember to take your sock off first. <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't do work relationships after, you know. Yeah, yeah, no worries. But I could really do with, with an aspirin, a pint of water and a hand... <laughs> towel. <laughs> so those of you two sitcoms in competition, let's go wild in the country versus the client. Have we found the new compo, the new Clegg, the new coupling? Time for you to decide. You're going to win this T-shirt. And we have the winner that you voted for. You wanted to see the ending of... The Client! Tut tut, Simon. You always did turn a nasty shade of yellow after a few shandies. So both get a nasty colour from a bottle, then? I'm just trying to picture you at a chucking out time last night. Oh, jeez, I'm trying to forget it. Yeah, morning, team. Uh, morning, Tom. I take it you've signed my document? That I'm just about to, Stella. What's that, Tom? D don't even think about signing this. And why not? D it's suicidal. Look, look, she wants us to pay damages for delivering the demo on time. Keep out of this, Simon. Yeah, put a sock in it, Simon. <laughs> uh, damages, and how do we feel about this? But it's terrible. It's stupid. The company will fold. Calm yourself, Simon. There's no way the company will fail to fold with me at the helm. Wake up. She's shafting us. Oh, well, at least one of us remembers how to. <laughs> look, I know what you're up to, but I've checked that demo. It's perfect. So pay up now. Quite right, Simon. I don't like to be impolite to a lady, but I will have to nod in agreement with Simon's suggestion. 
<laughs> I'm not paying, and without my money, you will be out of business by Easter. Simon, apologise to Stella. Look, all the research has been done here. You'll be lost without the continuity. The continuity? That's a good point, Simon. Yes, Simon, that is a good point. Hey? Well, Carol, she, she looks after the design, so she stays. And Simon, you look after the programmer, so you stay. And, oh, look, suddenly you've taken over from Tom and you're asking the chief exec to sack him. You disloyal young toad! I thought of you quite fondly, I might add, as, as a protégé. And you stabbed me in the back like some worm from the garden. Don't be stupid, Tom. I should have thought it perfectly clear by now that I am nothing if not stupid, Simon. Here, here, Tom. Here's my pen. D will you uh, stop badgering him? He's perfectly capable of making up his own mind. No, he's not. Look at him. He's standing there like a kid from the special needs class trying to remember the way to the toilet. Uh, <laughs> my decision is final. You haven't made a decision. No one likes a smart ass, Simon. <laughs> I have made my decision. You look after the minor details with Stella. Right then. We're not signing. Huh. So you're going for the do nothing again option, are we, Simon? Oh, stay out of this, Carol. No, no, no. Get involved, Carol. After all, you'll be leading the team when Simon is sacked for gross misconduct. Hey. Sorry, have I missed something, or are we all in the dark? No, I'm right in there with you, Tom. Oh. oh. Next time, you sleep with a client, Simon. Don't forget to take both your socks home. You poisonous old bitch! So, you don't do work relationships, you know, after... Carol, come and sit down with Uncle Tom. I'll make you a nice cup of milky tea. <laughs> That was the winning sitcom, the one you wanted to see, that was the client. Next week's sitcom trials is our period comedy night. Uh, we've got Cardinal Sin, which is set at the time of the Three Musketeers, and we've got a Victorian jewel thief in Nemesis. You can enter your own sitcom still in the sitcom trials. Go to the website, website itv.com slash sitcom trials. This night. <laughs> Let's hear it again for all the actors, all the writers, but cheaply yourself. See you next time. Thanks. Good night. <laughs>